a very good morning and jai hind 12th class how are you students i hope you are fine at your home and students i hope your pt was very good and uh, most welcome again in your economics online classes so students today i will continue your chapter 6 that is income determination and uh, before the discussion of new chapter i want to explain that what we people have discussed in earlier videos so students if you remember that we are discuss that how can consumption function uh, how can saving function derive from consumption function this is your revision you can say that is uh, c is equal to c bar plus b y this is a consumption function this is linear consumption function and students by the help of this linear consumption function we can draw saving function getting you know that y is equal to c plus s because here y is equal to national income and c is equal to consumption and s is equal to saving so income goes either is consume or either is save students we are we want to derive the saving function so saving is equal to y minus c getting students uh, then s is equal to y minus c so students on the place of c we can put the value of this equation s is equal to y minus c ke place pe this one c bar plus b y this is clear to every students then open the bracket s is equal to y minus c bar or minus plus minus b y i hope this is clear for a we can take a y common here so we can change the Uh, place of y and c bar s is equal to minus c bar plus y minus b y i hope this is also clear and students now you can s is equal to minus c bar y yahan se common liya aapne then yahan pe kya bacha 1 then minus b so students this is a saving function or we can write this in the form of s is equal to minus c bar plus 1 minus b into y so this is a saving function i hope this is clear students these are two function that is consumption function and saving function so in a examination examiner ask that Derive saving function from consumption function. So you have to these solution or these derivation because this is a three marks. So this is a numerical derivation. But examiner can ask by you that is derive from saving curve from consumption curve and derive from consumption curve from saving curve. So for the uh, curve you can also explain. that is if consumption curve is given so students you are aware that i hope this is your national income which is y and this is consumption getting at the point of e this is break even point and this is known as c bar which is autonomous c so c c is a consumption and om is a output level if we draw the saving curve so for saving curve draw the negative side then oc equal to os yahan par aapne ek point le liya oc ke equal os getting 
where both can intersect to each other draw this point of this point and draw this this is saving curve i hope this is clear students here is in this situation y less than c in this situation y equal to c and in this situation y greater than c in this situation here is s negative and here is s equal to 0 because here y is equal to c you can see y is equal to c plus s if y is equal to c then s is equal to 0 so you then here is proof at a point of e which is known as break even point at a break even point y equal to c and s is equal to 0 after the break even point this is the saving here is a positive saving So, students, आप positive seven where y greater than c. अगर आपका y greater than c हो जाएगा, तो it means कुछ portion आपका saving में जाएगा. I hope this is clear. So, you can prove suppose that this is hundred and c is eighty. In this situation, you can see y greater than c. This is position. Then plus twenty. Getting. So here s is equal to 20. So S is equal at 20 K. S आपका positive कब होगा? When y greater than c. Y greater than c. And this is the situation of after the point of e. So I hope students these concepts you have learned from uh, previous video. Get it? In a board examination I have again repeat and repeat and repeat that this portion is a very much important for the point of view board examination what is question question is explain or drive conjunction curve from saving curve explain conjunction curve from saving curve or explain or drive saving curve from conjunction curve it is depend on the totally examiner wo kisi bhi tarike se pooch sakta hai aapse ya to likha hoga ki giving the saving curve giving the saving curve drive the conjunction giving ka matlab aapko ye nahi hoga ki wo drive de raha hoga yahan par aapko hi nikalna dono situation mein getting aur aap usko numerical term mein bhi draw kar sakte hain jo maine aapko abhi bataya tha y is equal to you can see here that is y is equal to c plus s or s is equal to y minus c and c is equal to c bar plus by this is a linear conjunction function and by the help of this conjunction function you can draw saving function how can this so s is equal to y minus c ke place pe kya rakhte hain bata c bar plus by i am repeated again and again for your revision s is equal to y multiply karo sin ki bracket open karne ke liye minus c bar minus plus minus this is b y and for a take of y common we can the uh, change the place of y and c bar s is equal to minus c bar plus y minus b y then we can take easily common y so s is equal to minus c bar plus y here is 1 minus B. This is clear strength. Or you can say, or S is equal to minus C bar plus 1 minus B equal to Y. So students, this is conjunction function. And this is saving function. बेटा लिख लीजिए आप ये वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है और बोर्ड में 100% आएगा आप प्रीवियस ईयर के आ, आप एग्जाम आइडिया लीजिए या प्रीवियस ईयर के बोर्ड क्वेश्चन देखिए उनमें आपको हर बार मिलेगा क्या क्वेश्चन होगा मैं बार-बार बोल रहा हूं सेविंग कर ड्राइव फ्रॉम कंजंक्शन कर और कंजंक्शन का ड्राइव फ्रॉम सेविंग कर सो आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड दीस कांसेप्ट नाउ वी विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट कांसेप्ट that is investment function today is your new topic that is investment function so students what do you mean by investment beta investment means today is your topic is
इन्वेस्टमेंट फंक्शन वट यू मीन बाई इन्वेस्टमेंट सो स्टूडेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट मीन्स रेफर टू एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ इनकम किस पे एक्सपेंडिचर ओन क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू कैपिटल एसेट जब भी न्यू कैपिटल एसेट को इन्वेस्ट करते हैं क्रिएट करते हैं दिस इज नोन एज इन सो स्टूडेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट मीन्स इट रेफर टू द एक्सपेंडिचर इनकर ऑन द क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू कैपिटल एसेट जब भी कोई कंपनी कोई गवर्नमेंट कोई इंस्टीट्यूट न्यू कैपिटल एसेट क्रिएट करता है लाइक बिल्डिंग टूल्स इक्विपमेंट मशीनरी एक्सेट्रा इन चीजों पे जो एक्सपेंडिचर होता है इन्वेस्टमेंट रेफर टू द एक्सपेंडिचर इनकर ऑन क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू कैपिटल एसेट व्हाट इज न्यू कैपिटल एसेट लाइक बिल्डिंग टूल्स मशीनरी कैपिटल गोड्स एक्सेट्रा वेन प्रोड्यूसर In expenditure on these things, then it is known as investment. So I hope this is clear. Students, we have two type of investment in the theory of economics or in the term of Keynes terminology: induced investment and autonomous investment. Now we can differentiate both of investment. What is the difference between induced investment and autonomous investment? So students, induced investment. Which investment which like to uh, increase with the increase of profit? This is correlated with the profit. If profit increasing, that investment is also increasing. Induced investment refer to the investment which depend on the profit expectation and it's directly influenced by the income level of the country. So induced investment क्या हो बेटा It is related to direct income. Income से correlate करोगे आप और जैसे जैसे income increase होगी automatically investment भी increase होगा You can see the diagram of this car. Suppose that here is we can measure income. This is x-axis and here is y-axis. On horizon and on a y-axis we measure the investment students investment is also we are talking about function investment is also function of income like consumption and uh, saving both are the function of income you have discussed in previous uh, videos that c is equal to fy and s is equal to also functional relationship between y so this is consumption is equal to functional relationship between consumption and income and saving it is also functional relationship for income so students uh, like consumption and saving investment is also function of income as income increasing then investment so if we are talking about the induced investment this diagram of induced investment this is the left to right upward diagram this is a ii ii is here induced investment which is you have already studied in the 11th class also like supply curve which is a left to right upward diagram upward sloping curve so friends it is known as induced investment why we can say this is induced investment this is induced means here is a uh, motivate hona it will be motivate always income like income increasing suppose that uh, investment is at a particular point you can see at a point a here is a point here is om level of income and op level of investment as a point a here you can see om level of income and op level of investment suppose that a income increasing at any circumstances that m to m1 that income is increasing due to income increasing that investment is also increasing because it is induced due to income what is induced induced means ek tarah se i am talking about the word of hindi uh, prerit hona motivate hona prerit getting strength so induce investment now you can say of the point of this this is a dark portion and now we will vertical line and you can now see this is a point of suppose that b for a point b m to m1 this is increasing in 
income and it is related to P2, P1. Here is what is increase? Investment. So here you can see if income increasing M2, M1 then induced investment is also P2, P1. This is known as induced investment which is left to right upward sloping. Normally induced investment is drive to uh, related to income. So I hope this is concept clear. Everyone, I have a study is here. You can see I am reading this uh, definition. Induced investment refer to the investment which depend on the profits, acceptation and it directly influenced by income. Yani profit kisse expand, uh, wo acceptation kar rahe directly income se. And it is income elastic. आप लोगों ने 11th क्लास में इलास्टिसिटी भी पढ़ा था बेटा व्हाट इज इलास्टिसिटी ड्यू टू चेंज इन डिमांड ड्यू टू चेंज इन प्राइस प्राइस के चेंज होने से जो डिमांड में चेंजिंग आता है सेम है यहां पे इन्वेस्टमेंट जो है किससे इलास्टिक है इट इज इनकम इट इज डिपेंड ऑन इनकम इफ इनकम इंक्रीजिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीजिंग एंड आल्सो इफ इनकम डिक्रीजिंग देन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड uh, आप लोगों को मैंने पहले भी बोला था दैट दुनिया का कोई भी डायग्राम विच सो लेफ्ट टू राइट अपवर्ड उसकी फीचर सी ये होती है कि बोथ एक्स एक्सिस एंड वाई एक्सिस आइदर इज इंक्रीजिंग बोथ एंड आइदर इज डिक्रीजिंग सो इन इंड्यूस इन्वेस्टमेंट यू कैन सी एंड अगेन इट इज इनकम इलास्टिक इट इंक्रीज विद इंक्रीज इन इनकम एंड वाइस वर्षा इट डिक्रीज विद डिक्रीज इन इनकम सो आई होप स्टूडेंट यू कैन इजिली अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक this is a induced investment and now i am going to explain that is yes here is induced after the induced investment now i am going to autonomous investment autonomous investment which investment not affected the change in level of income autonomous investment kya hoga wo investment jo income se affect nahi hota autonomous investment are not affected autonomous investment refer to the investment which is not affected by change in the level of income and is not include by profit motive ye profit motive hota hi nahi beta it is social welfare motive it is income inelastic why it is income inelastic because it is independent of income ye depend nahi hai it is independent of income it is not influenced by the change in income so students when we are talking about this is a diagram of induced investment and now we will try to that the autonomous investment in autonomous investment same is this is y axis we take in, in this axis here is x axis on x axis we take uh, income again and on y axis we take investment here getting stress so now uh, this is visible yes now uh, autonomous investment this is a compulsory or fixed by the government the diagram of the autonomous uh, diagram is a elastic or parallel to the sorry inelastic it is parallel to the x-axis this is a i students if income is o to m then investment is suppose that p again if income increasing then m to m1 m to m1 then investment is not increasing it is same op level suppose that your income is also again increasing m2 then investment is not increasing it is a constant at all level of incomes same it is vice versa when income decreasing m2 to m1 then investment also op and when income increasing and decreasing m1 to m then it is not change op so in autonomous investment are those investment refer to the increase uh, sorry autonomous investment refer to the investment which is not affected by the change in income level and it is not induced ye induced nahi hota kya nahi hota ye ye hota profit 
Induce means this is motivated to the income, but it is not motivated to income. It is always constant at any level of income. So we can say this is autonomous investment, and we can draw. Uh, sorry, uh, it is a symbol of autonomous investment. This is I. I bar bar लगा के क्या होगा? Which is no change, जो change नहीं हो. Get it? So when we students in board examination. फॉर थ्री मार्क्स में इसका आपको डिफरेंस आ सकता है एक ही तो आप डेफिनेशन दे दोगे डेफिनेशन में इंड्यूस इन्वेस्टमेंट विच इन्वेस्टमेंट विच इज चेंज विद द लेवल ऑफ इनकम विच इज इंड्यूस और विच इज मोटिव टू द इनकम इफ इनकम इंक्रीजिंग देन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग एंड वाइस वर्षा इसकी डेफिनेशन दोगे ऑटोनोमस इन्वेस्टमेंट विच इज नॉट इंक्रीज विद द लेवल ऑफ इनकम इट इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज इट इज uh independent the income get it so this is uh, in induced investment second point i want uh, i want to go to that i'm going to that explain the second point difference between both of them induced investment it is a profit motive purpose induced investment kya profit motive purpose but if we are talking about autonomous investment it is a social welfare purpose getting it students if we are talking about diagram in <laughs> induced investment it is a left to right upward sloping curve left to right upward sloping curve and if we are talking about autonomous investment it is a parallel to the x axis student diagram is also considered in a differentiate aap log agar dono pehle to ye differentiate hamesha always aapko t set mein banana hai आप दोनों को लिखना इधर इंड्यूस इन्वेस्टमेंट और दूसरी साइड में ऑटोनोमस इन्वेस्टमेंट देन वन बाय वन डेफिनेशन लेना और उसमें छोटा छोटा आप डायग्राम भी बना सकते हो उसको भी वो वन मार्क्स में कंसीडर करेगा एक तो आप दोनों की डेफिनेशन लिख दोगे दैट दैट इट इज एक मोटिव लिखोगे मोटिव क्या होगा दिस इज प्रोफिट मोटिव और दिस इज सोशल वेलफेयर नॉर्मली एक डिफरेंस ये होता है कि ऑटोनो इंड्यूस इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑलवेज इन द सेक्टर ऑफ प्राइवेट ये प्राइवेट सेक्टर में सीन होता है और ये होता है आपका गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर में ये इनकम इलास्टिक होता है ये इनकम इन इलास्टिक होता है इनकम इलास्टिक मीन्स विद इंक्रीजिंग इनकम इट इज इंक्रीज और डिक्रीजिंग इनकम इट डिक्रीज ये क्या हो जाएगा आपका इनकम इन इलास्टिक ये इनकम से इंडिपेंडेंट है इनकम के चेंज होने से इस पर कोई डिपेंड कोई चेंजिंग नहीं होती सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर एवरी स्टूडेंट सो वी कैन differentiate any four points i want to see in this also yes here is book also uh, first is it is generally done by the government autonomous kisse ho jayega government and it is generally done by the private sector and government sector also ye private bhi kar sakti hai government bhi next if we are talking about motive induced investment is a profit motive autonomous investment are no profit motive getting if we are talking about income elastic Induced investment is a elastic with income. Income के increase होने के साथ साथ increase होगा और ये इन इलास्टिक विद इनकम अन एफेक्टेड बाई चेंज इन इनकम ये अनएफेक्टेड रहता है और लास्ट वन इट इज ए कार टू पेलर ऑफ एक्सेस पेलर किसका होगा ऑटोनोमस इन्वेस्टमेंट का एंड इन द साइड इट हैज ए पॉजिटिव स्लो और वी कैन से पॉजिटिव स्लो लेफ्ट राइट ऑनर बाय पॉजिटिव बिकॉज इनकम पॉजिटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट पॉजिटिव और प्लस प्लस इजिकल टू प्लस इनकम निगेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट निगेटिव माइनस माइनस इजिकल टू ऑल्सो प्लस सो दिस इज स्लोप ऑफ पॉजिटिव और पॉजिटिव स्लोप और वी कैन से लेफ्ट टू राइट अपवर्ड स्लोपिंग डायग्राम सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स टूमारो वी विल डिस्कस equilibrium level of income output and employment which is which is the name of this chapter so for this equilibrium level you have study aggregate demand and aggregate supply with the component getting to kal kya padhoge aap log equilibrium level of aggregate demand and aggregate supply aur aap logo ko main thoda sa remind kara raha hu kal aapko padh ke aana hai tabhi wo easily samajh aayega That is aggregate demand, which is component C plus I, and aggregate supply, that is C plus S. Or for equilibrium level, what do you do? AD equal AS, AD C plus I, and C plus 
S C C C cancel, so I equal to S. You can see. We will discuss in tomorrow this two concept: equilibrium level of income, output, and employment. I am repeated again. For this equilibrium level, you have to learn or you have to remember the concept of aggregate demand and aggregate supply. Without clear of this concept, you can't understand the concept of equilibrium level. Getting students and equilibrium level is also very very important topic because this unit is name as income employment determination. Getting income employment determination under Keynesian theory. So Keynesian theory में जो आप लोगों ने income employment का determination करना है वो कल की वीडियो में करेंगे सो स्टूडेंट दिस इज सफिशिएंट फॉर टुडे मैंने आज आप लोगों को इन्वेस्टमेंट फंक्शन बताया तो इन्वेस्टमेंट किसका फंक्शन होता है इंस्ट्रूमेंट इनकम का फंक्शन होता है दूसरा इन्वेस्टमेंट की डेफिनेशन बताई इन्वेस्टमेंट रेफर टू द एक्सपेंडिचर इनकर्ड ऑन क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू कैपिटल एसेट्स जितना भी न्यू कैपिटल एसेट्स पे एक्सपेंडिचर करते हैं इट इज नोन एज इन्वेस्टमेंट और इट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ y यानी i इज इक्वल टू f y ये इसका फंक्शन हुआ and investment has a two type induced investment and autonomous investment i have explained both with the help of example in an examination you have learned only uh, definition of investment definition of induced investment and autonomous investment and differentiate both of them aapko dono ka differentiate bhi karna aata hoga so i hope this is sufficient for today student and uh, tomorrow we will discuss again as aap logo ki जूम क्लासेस भी होती बेटा लेकिन स्कूल से इंस्ट्रक्शन था देर इज नो जूम क्लास टुडे सो फॉर टुडे इज ओनली आई हैव सेंड रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक एंड प्रीवियस टॉपिक यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी स्टूडेंट्स सो थैंक यू सो मच स्टूडेंट्स 